Hello, my awesome and amazing Geminis. It's Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another general collective reading. Today's reading is an audio reading. Uh, I'm going to be doing audio readings for just a little while longer um, for the mere fact that my dog Toto, that some of you guys, if you're new to my channel, know that I have a dog named Toto. She's 14 years old and uh, she's been very sick the last two days. Um, I had to take her to the emergency vet um, on Thursday and um, she has lymphoma. So right now I'm uh, researching into other alternative medicines. Um, the doctors had to put her on steroids. So I'm honestly monitoring her right now. And, um, you know, I've been crying off and on for the last few days. Um, I'm feeling a little bit emotionally stronger, but I will eventually come back to the channel and you'll be able to see the cards, but I do the same setup as I normally do. So right now, Toto here is in the kitchen. She's just kind of I don't know. I tried to give her some scrambled eggs. You know, she needs a little bit of a high protein diet right now. And, um, I don't know. She's, she's kind of been wishy washy, uh, with her food. Like she's just not really eating that much and trying to keep her strength up, you know, cause she can barely walk right now. So anyway, just monitoring her. Hope, hopefully you Gemini's are doing well. And, um, we're going to see what the overall general collective energy is. I just have to find my trusty little bell. Let's dive into this, shall we? Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Gemini viewers and subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers. And so it is. And of course, rolling the dice to see what I need to shuffle the deck to. Power of number nine. Power of number four. And power of number nine. So nine and nine is 18 plus the four. That brings us to the number 22. Some of you Geminis could be dealing with a Virgo or a Libra born in the month of September. You could also be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus born in the month of April. You could also be dealing with an Aquarius or a Pisces born in the month of February. Some of you guys could be 22, 24, or possibly 29 years of age. You could have been born in 1992, 1994, or possibly 1999 for some of you. You could also be 42 or possibly 49 years of age. So either way, we're going to go into this power of number 22 for the beautiful star sign of Gemini. And 22, trusted ancestors of my Gemini listeners, subscribers, and viewers, what is the overall general collective energy, please, for Gemini? Show me what's up. Mm, somebody wants to balance the scales with you, Gemini. I got the Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles has a couple variable meanings. Sometimes it can also talk about you feeling like you've been breadcrumbed or somebody is breadcrumbing you or somebody wants you to beg them for their attention, okay? Um, or somebody wants to balance out a connection with you. This could talk about a specific person. This might be a family member, a former lover, etc. So either way, there's a handout or a handout of money or somebody want you to beg them for their help. Maybe some of you Geminis in the past have been down on your luck. But I don't know. Some of you guys are like, no, screw that. 
I'm self-sufficient. Something here about the Six of Swords, getting out of a dark and clouded situation, or somebody does want to lend a helping hand to you so that you can move forward and, and go after and get what you want. You never know. If you guys are an entrepreneur, this can also talk about an investor, maybe finding the right investor for your entrepreneurship or your business. Clarifying the Six of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles. Now, some of you, uh, Geminis, could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or some of you could be dealing with another air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. But we do have the Knight of Pentacles. Slow and steady wins the race. Eventually, Gemini, you will get to your destination. Whatever that destination is to you, whatever it is that you are striving for, going after, slow and steady wins the race. So step by step, certain things may be needed uh, to be placed like baby steps, taking baby steps towards your dreams and goals right now. Wow, a beautiful Ace of Cups. Amazing. Okay, some of you could obviously be moving on from a prior relationship that obviously left you all up in your head. This person could have made you feel like you were questioning yourself, Gemini, whether or not to move on from them. I feel like Spirit's saying, yeah, you've got the green light to move on from this person that was breadcrumbing you, that really in truth didn't have your best interest at heart. Um, Spirit is trying to help you to keep the faith that you are lovable, that you are meant to be in a healthy, committed partnership. A lot of you could have been battling you know, like the what if, what if my person changes? What if I move on and this person from my past, all of a sudden now they want to be with me? Well, I'm going to tell you this right now. When you are fully in your confidence and you are in that vibration of frequency where you're feeling good about yourself, your confidence is radiating, you're focused in on your career, your success, nothing's going to stop you. And then you're changing this whole outlook, this whole perspective about you, and you're opening yourself up for other opportunities in love because the Ace of Cups does represent new beginnings in the romance department. And for those of you that could be worried, like, well, what if this person who I was so in love with starts to try to come after and chase me and now they want to be with me? Well, first off, when you're in your confidence, you may not be as affected as you think you would be by this person from the past because there is a new beginning in love. So a lot of you need to stop second guessing your intuition right now. Because the universe is wanting to bring you this, like to get you to open up, to be able to love again, to be able to trust again, that to have a healthy, committed partnership is for you and that you, in fact, are worthy to be in a partnership. It's getting to the level of worthiness And changing your mindset. You know, swords represent mental thought process. It's all about your subconscious mind. You changing the story in your mind, Gemini. Because this beautiful Ace of Cups, like, there could be, you could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Or there is a water sign coming in your direction. It doesn't really matter. My viewpoint is, I think we attract the zodiac signs that we're just individually more drawn to okay but yeah you could be feeling all up in your head or this person that you've dealt with before in the past they could feel like they're all up in their head like I look at the nine of swords as the what have I done what have I done type of energy so I'm gonna clarify this ace of cups Yeah, somebody feels that, okay, 
somebody feels that they could be in competition for your affection, Gemini. So I'm seeing another twist and turn to the story. Or this person that you were dealing with made you a choice or an option or put you into competition with a third party situation. You don't have time for that. You only have time for greatness, Gemini, and to be done with the tomfoolery of people or places or situations that are no longer serving your highest good. You know what I mean? They're not serving your highest purpose. Yeah, you've got the green light again. Bottom of the deck, the eight of cups. Wash your hands clean, Gemini, and just walk away. Walk away from whoever this person is. I will go into the hidden truth right now because I feel like this person from the past has, they've played a lot of mind games and, you know, that's, you know, once you get into a new connection and things are going the right way, and even if this person from the past creeps back up again, you're going to be in a different position, a different frequency in your life to where whatever this person has to say, it's going to be like water rolling off of a duck's back. Okay. It's not, you're going to be like unbothered, unbothered by this person. And some of you may also wake up to the revelation or realize, like, I don't know what the hell I was seeing in that person. Some of you will get to that point. Now, I do feel like this specific person does have something to say to you. It was my fault, but I blamed you. So this person that you were dealing with, Gemini, highly insecure. They really, truly didn't know what they wanted. I replay our conversations over and over again. Well, that's all fine and dandy, but if they're not really taking real action to bring you something of substance, Gemini, again, you don't have time for the inconsistencies anymore. You just don't. Wow, this person has a lot to say. Because, you know, when the cards start falling all over the place and they get jumbled in my hands, it's like this. Either this person's walking on eggshells or some of them can't believe, Gemini, that you didn't go running or chasing after them. Like, you begging them for their attention. I want you. Well, wanting something or someone is one thing. Action is another. This person, in truth, was moving far too slow for your taste buds, Gemini. Okay? Just moving far too slow. They're just... I don't think they get it. The thing I feel that they're not getting is that the uniqueness of you and that you are somebody that was very tried and true in the connection. I like the fact that I'm seeing the Ace of Cups, but the way I see it is that the Ace of Cups comes after a card that shows me moving on. And on the bottom of the deck with the Eight of Cups, that is definitely, I'm done. I'm not gonna deal with you anymore. We've done this too many times over. I'm not going around the block with you again. So even if they were to come to you and say, but I need you, I want you, I love you, I miss you. You got to say, why do you love me? Why do you miss me? It's because this person doesn't like to lose, Gemini. They don't like to lose. They're very petty. I think this person thinks that they're all that in a bag of chips, you know? They didn't do enough for you. They weren't, what it feels to me is like they weren't pulling their weight. I would say, like, for example, if this Five of Swords wasn't clarifying the Ace of Cups, then I would say, okay, maybe this person will have a little bit of integrity 
maybe some authenticity and transparency and say, hey, look, Gemini, yeah, I really do care about you. I really love you, et cetera. But when I get a card that shows me competition, then it's Five of Swords is a mind game. It's a mind game card. This person didn't really, in truth, have like, they didn't have your best interest at heart. Clarifying the Ace of Cups. I love you. I want you, but I love you and I need you. But yet they're bringing in competition. They don't want to lose. You speak to me through music. So maybe to butter you up, Buttercup, my, lo my lovely Geminis, they could end up sending you maybe to kind of see how much access they have to you by sending you maybe like a song from Spotify. Maybe it's a, a, a song video from YouTube. There could be a special song that the two of you did share. So it could very well be true. But I don't know why I'm hearing the song from Share uh, Believe. What am I supposed to do? Sit around and wait for you. Well, I can't do that. Can't do that. You can't sit sit and wait around. Mm -mm. They were moving too slow. Far too slow. It almost makes me feel like you guys didn't know in truth where you stood with this person. There's no doubt that I am picking up the word chemistry and the statement of strong attraction. It just wasn't enough. This is somebody who's not, they didn't put in enough effort. But I feel like they really left you in questioning, like, what are we? Are we boyfriend and girlfriend, girlfriend and girlfriend, boyfriend and boyfriend? Are are we fiancés? Are, are we going to get married? Like, nobody's going to make you question where this connection stands. Because they're going to show true, genuine interest. And they're not going to be afraid to be like, to say to you, what do you think about this? What do you think we have going on here? What, what's your opinion? What, they're going to be genuinely concerned about your feelings. And they would be bold and strong and confident enough that if in the event that if you weren't feeling anything towards them, that they would be, okay, I see what you're saying. And well, thank you for the opportunity. You know what I mean? And just move on. But this is somebody different. This is somebody who I feel is used to, in some cases, is used to having people surrounding them. Or they're maybe they're very popular among their peers. Or they're used to having uh, guys chase them. Or they're used to having girls chase them. That's why I said, I don't know who this person thinks they are. Like that and a bag of chips. You know what I mean? But they are a highly conflicted person or they like conflict or they like drama. Or they don't like the fact to lose or they feel that you can't live without them. I'm getting that kind of storyline going on here, especially with the Five of Swords. I think you can do better than this person, Gemini. I really do. Somebody got fed up, and it feels like that was you, Gemini. You got fed up. Because this person was moving far, far too slow. Trusted ancestors, how does this person feel about Gemini? Tower moment. Hmm. Either they felt chaotic with you or their life itself was a hot mess. So 
So they may in truth didn't know entirely how they felt about the connection. But if you moved on, then boom, crash, boom, bam, tower moment. Oh my God, now I want you, Gemini. Now I love you, Gemini. Mm, come on now. This person is very much in their ego, and in truth, they're very insecure. I've got the devil card, but there is an obsession. There's a little bit of an obsession going on. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Scorpio more specifically, or an Aries, but I've got with the devil card, I've got Capricorn. Some of you guys could be dealing with the Capricorn right now. It's like, I don't know, some of them were my way or the highway. Four of Cups. I think you went around the block a few times with this person, Gemini. Like every Four of Cups is kind of like this missed opportunity type of card. It's also a sense of rejection. Um, maybe you have been rejecting this person over and over again just because whatever it is that they do, it's just not enough. Like, and it's not because you're being picky. I feel that this is because you may be figuring out how to raise your standards, especially if I go back to the Six of Pentacles, this breadcrumbing. Like you took breadcrumbs from them. Like any opportunity that they text messaged you, you were right on that. Probably because the... The interest, the genuine interest in them was real. So I'm not going to deny you of that. But in truth, we really shouldn't respond to people right, right away. Especially if it's, you got to keep a little mystery. Do you know what I mean? You'll be able to tell like when somebody's really being genuine. Because the thing that you need to be looking out for, are they making plans with you? You know what I mean? And they're not going to force you some of you could have slept with this person right away. And I'm not a prude. And I get it. When you're attracted to somebody, you know, if the, if the feeling and the vibe's there, some people just go for it. But in truth, in new situations, it's really, in fact, taboo. Because you could end up losing your sense of self-respect. Or this person will lose self like so They'll not respect you because you did sleep with them right away. I don't know why in the world it has to be that way. I don't know why that energy is like that. But you did get played. But this person has control issues. And when something's not working out over in that other fake green grass, who do they come back to? A lot of them, they come back to you. Because you somehow know how to communicate effectively. And a lot of you could have been in that queen and or king of swords mode where you could have said to this person, don't you try coming running back to me. Don't you come beating down my door. Don't you step one foot back into my house. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. You could have definitely told this person off in one way or another. Some of them, I don't feel were listening to you because this person, for some of you guys, is somebody who likes to gnaw on things like a rat. They just won't either let things go or they just have to find a way to irritate you. So that tells me that a person like that is in their ego. They're not healed. Either they're not healed from their childhood wounds or they're not healed from um, any kind of insecurities, maybe how they were raised or how they view relationships, etc. But this person has massive ego. Anytime I see the devil card and it's up against a not so favorable card, I'd say, you know what? Yeah, run like hell, Gemini, run like hell. Because this person in truth, I feel falsified a lot of love and they are somebody who does not like to lose. Because words are just words. And I feel like this person used a lot of words or love bombing. Future fake, faking with you. Future faking. Okay. 
And so any way to get into your energy, they may send, send you a random text like, I messed up and I love you and I can't stand not being with you. And a lot of times we want to hear that, but we have to also be careful too. We have to be mindful. If they walked away, we should not give that person access to walk back in that easily. A lot of you did have to set boundaries with this person, but Gemini, listen, you got the green light to move on. Don't stay in the what if. That what if energy will keep you trapped. It's almost like in my mind's eye, I'm seeing the eight of swords. It'll just keep you trapped forever. You need to grow. You need to keep growing as a person. You need to keep learning new things. Learn more about relationship dynamics. Okay. Learn more about your self-concept, raising that self-concept up. Okay. Um, this person they, I don't feel they had the greatest intentions. I feel like it was all about them. They wanted you to grovel or put you in competition or try to act superior over you. I'm picking up a touch of that as well. You can do better than this person. Okay. My awesome and amazing Gemini's if you would like to book a personal reading with me and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com. And my amazing assistant, Victoria, will book you for that personal reading. And be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And until next time, my awesome Geminis, take care.